Hi everyone! It's been a long time since I posted a video to my YouTube channel. Um, I know the last 8 videos have been about my belly goddess dance therapy. But today I wanted to um, share something that I found to be really useful in my life as a mom of four with little children. So I thought I want to share it with you and hopefully you can also benefit from, from this product. I'm actually going to talk about a review, Bird's Bees Hand Salve. I found it to be really useful in my life for the last couple of years. I found Bird's Bees for the first time when I was living in the Netherlands um, many years ago. Of course, being an Asian, um, my skin could not adapt uh, very well to the extremely cold and very dry and windy weather in the Netherlands where I was living in, in, in Den Haag or, or The Hague. Um, I was desperately looking for different creams and lotions to keep my uh, skin moist, especially my cuticles and my fingers when I'm not wearing a glove. Um, I've tried uh, Palmer's and I used to love Palmer's, but it didn't work this time. So when I found Burt's Bees Hand Salve at the Sephora uh, counter, I tried it and I fell absolutely in love with it. Um, the product smells really wonderful. Um, you can smell the eucalyptus, the uh, rosemary, um, it's got, um, let me see, uh, lavender flower oil, uh, rosemary, um, soybean oil, it's got, um, let me see, sunflower seed oil, and of course made from, uh, it's made with beeswax and it's 100% natural it says on the back no artificial um, ingredients at all now for many years I enjoyed using it my skin my cuticle got really soft and really moist so when I got um, my son um, he actually suffered from um, um, allergic dermatitis namely because he's allergic to eggs but at that time we didn't know he was allergic to eggs and the doctor thought he was having um, suffering from fungal infection because it started affecting his crotch every time he does a number one or number two especially um, he got really red sores, really painful weeping sores on his crotch and in his um, butt area and, and, and throughout his hips. Nothing worked. My last result was, let's try Burt's Bees. And within 24 hours, all the red sores went away. Um, it was not weeping anymore and all the welts got really, really small. Of course, as a mom, I'm really happy, right? I mean, it's natural and I don't have to use any more medication. And then, of course, at that time, I knew he was allergic to eggs, so we sorted that problem out. Um, and, of course, um, since he was still using uh, nappies, um, sometimes, you know, as a mom, I'm a little bit slow to change his nappy. So, of course, you know, um, he will still get a bit sore, a bit red. Most of the time, in the past, with my other two children, I used nappy cream. You know, I don't like nappy cream because it's really thick and, and it's really white and it gets really sticky on my fingers. I went back to Bird's Bees and no nappy rash whatsoever and I continued using this uh, cream with baby number four. Um, so this, there's always, there's like three different bottles in my house all over the place and it always travels in my uh, nappy bag. Every time a nappy is changed, once the baby's cleaned up, wipe this a little bit all over the crotch and then the, um, the nappy and so far touch wood, um, it's been amazing, no nappy rash, no nothing whatsoever. The days when I did not put this on, and I'm a little bit slow to change uh, the baby's nappy, you do see that little slightly sore red from, you know, from the urea, and then I remember, oops, I have to go back to using Burt's Bees. Now, the third one that I've been, um, well, the other one I've been using Burt's Bees for is also um, as a um, face remedy. I am a big splurger on cosmetics. I love trying out different brands. And of course, um, you know, I love my French products. I love um, also Boots Number no. 7 uh, skincare range at the moment. But at night, after I put on all my serum and all my um, skincare, I slather Burt's Bees really thickly all over my face to keep the moisture in. Again, it's coming up to winter at the moment. It's autumn. It's really cold. And of course, my Asian skin does not like the radiator heat. It does not like the cold weather and the dry, um, the dry, uh, the dryness in the air. So Burt's Bees, actually, when slathered over my face, it also helps with um, scarring. Um, when I've not been having enough sleep because the baby's been sick or something, I started having um, pimples on my face. And Burt's Bees has really greatly helped in reducing the scarring and, and um, keeping the, uh, the scars moist. And in the morning, I look like much better. I don't look as fierce as when I don't use Burt's Bees. Now, just to show you um, the consistency of Burt's Bees, if you've never tried it before, 
it looks like this, exactly like a beeswax would. Um, I normally use my um, my knuckle to pull it out, and then as you can see here, it's um, it's a little bit shiny when you put it on, but you know what? It gives your skin that really dewy glow, um, and it really is really good for um, for cuticles. So I stopped using um, other cuticle brands from you know, the likes of OPI, whatever, this has been my um, cuticle saver and um, it smells really wonderful. So if you've got any other uses for Burt's Bees, please do kindly comment and let me know um, if you tried it and if you haven't, go out and try it and see whether it works as well as you and it has been on me and my children. So uh, do let me know and um, click like when you've done. Thanks. Bye.